Okay, so here I am. I am doing an unboxing video, mostly for Cindy. Me and my best friend ordered two sets of the same thing from Craft Fancy, I think? Craft Box, I'm sorry, in the UK. And so they came taped together. I've just untaped them to make this easier. And so you see I've got two of those, and I've got two of these. So, we'll open this first box. And inside we have some packing material, an advertisement for your Creative Craft Academy. There is this cute little box that I believe we're going to be making into a folio cabinet. In fact, this is the picture of what we're making, and the um, instructions, I believe, are online. And then we have a kit here of some of the stuff, it looks like the dry stuff, with a very good sticker. And in here we have, and I'm just going to put it back in so I don't lose anything. We have some purpley looking rocks, some purpley glitter, some pink sandy glitter. Oh, they're, mic they're micro micro beads. They're pico beads. We have a purple bag of... We have a little lantern and ah, four metal legs. So those are the metal pieces for our project. Then we have some chipboard. There are some stickers with lots of numbers that I know Cindy will love. And another set of, they're not really stickers, I guess we're going to have to cut them out, they're uh, cardstock. And then there is a stencil from Snip Art. There's also a little thank you present. And in our thank you present we have, whoa, a bajillion little, um, jars we have. I'll just stick them here. Oh, look at the little round one. And then there's a square one. And then a test tube. And the brown one. Tommy! And a won't stand up one. Oh, this looks like the lid to an apothecary jar. Another one. Then I have so you must go in here. It's a test tube. I'm not even sure what this little guy's supposed to be, but he's cute. And then this other little jar. So we have all those jars. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, ten of them. So that is what I'm going to call the dry bag. And in the media bag, mm -hmm. we have another thing of dry items. This looks like a set of their ephemera. And in here we have the back stock, which we may or may not be using in our project. And then we have a little skull. An adorable metal alarm clock, a frame, metal frame, 
book. And this one says, ah, it's not in English. And there's two plastic frames, a candle, an angel, a little, I guess it's a black widow spider because it's striped black and red, and then a clock charm. Also in this bag, we had two tubes of their purpley goo. We have, oh, some purple pigment, what appears to be black paint, what appears to be white, probably matte media, and some gilding flakes in an unknown color, but they're silver, gold, and copper. So, finally, for this box, we have a 12 by 12 pad of electric vintage paper, and it's 10 double-sided papers in all sorts of cool patterns. So, I'm gonna put these away. And this is what I ordered. So when I got it, I was thinking that maybe it was a larger project and that this was just the frame because Cindy kept telling me, oh, we've got another box coming, we've got another box coming. So this is what I know we're making. I'm gonna put this over here and I'll get it all put in later. And then this is the box that Gabby, or that Cindy ordered. And I think Gabby's gonna be in our videoing today. I hope the salt shaker's not in everything. <sighs> Quarterly craft box autumn magic. So this is pretty awesome. <laughs> and Tiny assistant. And we open with our tissue paper. And inside we have oh. a little where something should have been. But this stuff, this one is also, we have a gravestone that fell out of this one. So I suspect I'll find what should have been in that one in a minute. And it looks like, oh. We have a glowing gravestone. Oh, this is what was stuck to that other one. We have a little jar, and it is just absolutely full. There is a little box in here as well. So I'm going to dump these into the box. And let my photographer take a good look at them. And you can see all the little metal doodads that are in there. I'm just going to leave those in the box for now. We have um, Sparkle Souffle in Alchemy, which is a pinkish color, and her Sparkle Souffle in Divination. And that's what was also in that other box that I said was purple stuff because I couldn't remember the name of her souffles. We have some cutout cardstock ephemera. Ooh. We have some of the snip art that she is so famous for. There's leaves. 
and we have apothecary, more leaves, a witch's cauldron. There is ooh, a pretty eye um, stencil. 